Hello and welcome to our Whiskey Walks. Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Maybe a couple of years. So in this video, I wanted to go back to my very first Whiskey Walks. I've not really done that many. It's been one of those uh, things that was a, a good idea and I really enjoy doing them, but I don't know, I just never really followed through them. But here is another one anyway. So they might be few and far between, but hopefully they're enjoyable. Anyway, I wanted to revisit the first uh, uh, whiskey walks I ever did because in that whiskey walks I said that whiskey was quite calorific and on my whiskey journey I was putting on a few pounds. Now that's still true, I've not really done a massive amount about my uh, my fitness and my health, especially over lockdown. I still get out for the walks and stuff but you know I still don't feel uh, particularly fit. I'm 40 now too so getting older. But anyway the, the calorific content I was like, I, I did a little bit more research and obviously I just assumed that whiskey had calorific content just like beer, wine, cider, all the rest of these things and uh, apparently it doesn't so it's been proven by science so they say that whiskey has zero calories so it's not whiskey that's putting the weight on you so I was like okay Obviously there's loads of different factors that can be involved in um, weight being put on. But I was trying to tie this back into whiskey because I've de I definitely noticed the, the difference when I was drinking more whiskey, I was putting on more weight. So why would that be? I wasn't doing much else different in my life, you know. Same amount of ex exercise, etc, etc, same diet. Or was it? Because I think what you find uh, when you start drinking whiskey is one, you start doing pairings. So you start eating nice cheeses and, or well, maybe you're eating nice cheeses. Anyway, I was too, but you know, you start eating more cheese because you're tasting it with the whiskey. Uh, chocolate, I'm not really a big chocolate fan, but I have had, I have done tastings with chocolate. So there's that, but the age old, um, thing that always happens when you have a bit of alcohol. What do you fancy? A salty snack. Um, so I think that's probably what it comes down to. So I really just wanted to clear up that first video because I did um, sort of make the assumption and allude uh, to a false fact that uh, whiskey was calorific. Apparently it is not. Zero calories. But obviously when you're drinking whiskey you tend to pair it with nice fatty things like cheese and meats and um, all those kind of things, chocolate. And uh, equally, sometimes you wash it down with a beer, a little chaser. That's, uh, beer is definitely calorific. And of course, the salty snacks that you always get a bit of a craving for. Well, I do anyway. Uh, so crisps, nuts and the like, obviously packed with calories. Um, so yeah, I've come back up the same route the sharp-eyed among you would notice, the same route um, as the very first video. So I'm up in Ormiston Hill and well I thought I'd I thought I'd treat you guys. Well, treating me to be honest. Um, so I brought something a little bit special to have a wee nip with. Ooh, it's brighter up here. My face is all white. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see me that well, it's like super bright and I can't really see my screen. Um, but yeah, up the top of Ormonston Hill, it's uh, kind of windy, it's blowing my, my camera around, so apologies if you feel a little bit sick rocking around. But yeah, I'm on the bench up here and I bought myself, uh, I brought myself a, a little nip to talk about. I'm going to use one of these to drink it out of. Um, normally when I'm out, I take a little hipper, um, but these are my little Whiskey Trials branded dram cups. Oh yeah, satisfying to open. Um, and a cool little container to have a nip out in the countryside. So, what have I got? Don't know if you can see that that well, but it is a Springbank cast strength 12 year old. Um, I believe this is a 28 in. This is at 54.2. 
and I, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think that's a 2018. I, I had the 2017 as well, which was just the bourbon one, but this is the uh, sherry and bourbon uh, matured. And I have to say, I much prefer this one. Um, I'm a bit of a bit of a sherry fan, um, so yeah, I, I do prefer corks getting a bit bit bad there, it's starting to rot away. Probably got a few bits in the whiskey. Um, so yeah, the bourbon one's really nice. So if you can pick one up, then then yeah, go for it. Um, in terms of like bourbon bombs, um, I think I've had better, but uh, it's definitely a nice dram, and uh, but I much prefer the sherry one. Always difficult to uh, nose whiskies when it's uh, when you're out in the open, um, but yeah. It's a, it's a punchy one, this one at 54.2, so you get a lot of berries coming through, red fruits. It smells uh, almost kind of creamy, you, can, you definitely get that um, bourbon influence as well, the sort of vanilla, creamy um, oak coming through as well. So, uh, yeah, it's Solange. Mm-mm. Wow, definitely got the uh, Springbank funk in there as well. Which I love about Springbank, you know, you just expect, you expect this kind of, um, you know, with like a normal sherry dram, just that kind of sweetness and niceness and all the rest of it, and then Springbank just goes, and you get like a, a almost like a peatiness sort of barrel charred, funky dunnagey thing going on. So fantastic. I've not had any of the new ones. Um, I've just had that 2017 and 2018, I think. Um, but like I said, tell me down below if I'm wrong. But I would like to get another bottle of this because it is supremely good. I do have a couple of bits of cork in there, so not the best corks. I mean, that's only, um, what, three years old. I've stored it upright the whole time and the cork's starting to uh, disintegrate already. So, yeah, not the best. Nobody likes uh, having to sieve out a bit of cork in their teeth, but looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. I doubt it'll uh, poison me if I uh, imbibe it anyway. Well, i got to say guys, if uh, you know, you're like me, you like a whiskey and uh, you like the countryside, there's nothing better than, you know, climbing your local hill or just getting out and about in the countryside and taking a wee dram with you. And uh, yeah. Why not take the camera as well, and you can film it? It's, uh, it's sometimes like it feels like it's a bit of a hassle, but uh, I think I've I've now got my setup to a point where it's uh, much easier for me to do these kind of videos. So I'll probably do a lot more in the future. Hmm. Real sweetness. And just that, such a fantastic balance between that sweetness and the kind of dunnagey funk. Like a, 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 a dirty dram that um, uh, is, you know, pretending not to be. It's uh, all ladylike on the, on the outside and then dirty as on the inside. If you would like to purchase one of these, uh, links are down below. Um, still got quite a few left. I also have hip flasks. And I've still got some coins left, only 20 odd or so, so of batch one. So we'll get them while you can. Uh, once they're sold out, I'll start thinking about batch two. Alright guys, well that was great. And I tell you what, I never get sick of this view. Look at that. Oreo's here too. Hey Oreo. What you doing? Alright guys, till next time.